Hey everyone, it's Game Dog Gamer. I'm playing Grim Dawn. Do a let's play. I just got a character up here to level four. Just finding some loot here. Quick quilted coat of the fox. Twenty armor plus cunning and spirit. Required physique sixty-five. I'm one point short on the physique. Got sixty-four here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's kind of it's kind of weird because um, cunning and spirit are boosted, right? But you need physique to have it. So I guess you, in this case, you would rather just bump physique, hoping you'll get items that will bump your other two two main stats. Because kind of, there are only three stats in the game: physique, cunning, and spirit. There it is. All right. Well, make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm playing this game completionist style. Look at the map. You start, you start uh, right about here, and I just came up. You can see I've pretty much done everything. <laughs> and this, that's my name, uh, Script Kitty. <laughs> you know what a Script Kitty is? It's someone who, uh, well, it's a hacker that doesn't know how to hack. They just run scripts that do the hacking for them. <laughs> that's not why I don't really, I don't really, I'm not a Script Kitty. I thought it was a pretty cool, one. cool game name. Burial Hill. Now I've got a choice here. I've got two weapon types. I've got this uh, ranged, this pistol, and I can right click and shoot a magical. Well, oh, here's the, okay, Devil's Crossing. Okay, that says. Oh, that's cool. You put your mouse over it. it tells you where I'm supposed to go to Burial Hill. So he's enter the cave under Burial Hill. It says this active quest. Here are my active quest. One thing, uh, this game, it's really, I like this game. I love, love Titan Quest. I played it uh, after it came out. I'm supposed to read these journal two of the, I read the other ones, but look how small this text is. 1080p, it's just, wish it scaled. I am Inquisitor Creed, first entry. I am currently en route to the village of Bur Burwich in order to investigate a number of strange incidents that have been in this area, as dusk is drawing near, and the swamps of this region are said to be hazardous to travel at night, I've reluctantly taken up lodging at a small squalid tavern in Lower Crossing. Perhaps I am weary from my hurried travels, but I feel as if there is strange presence and electricity in the air. It is almost akin to the still before a thunder, thunderous summer gale but yet the sun shines and not a cloud is to be seen. Everything seems as it should, but my gut, but I feel that something terrible will soon come to pass. All right, second entry. As I, as I was packing to resume my journey to Burwich, my assistance was urgently requested at the logging camp of the old grove west of Devil's Crossing where strange animal attacks have left three lumbermen listless and pale. Upon arriving, I received a somber, somber greeting that the foreman who, was inform who informed me that the bitten workers had gone mad and fled the premises. They were reported to have spoken into an unknown, in, in an unknown tongue. The foreman showed me the remains of the animals, two gray foxes and a hound, suffering some sort of horrific mange, lay in hastily dug pit behind the outhouse. The foreman told me the animals suddenly died when confronted by the workers, and a strange green vapor emanated from their remains. Shortly afterward, the three lumbermen fell ill, and their mental state rapidly deteriorated. It appears that my presence in this region is most warranted. Okay. So there's a story behind why there are zombies. And <laughs> it's not like a post-apocalyptic. It's like a... <laughs> like a... 17th, 16th... Or like 16th century apocalypse or something. That's my pistol. Now, if I right click, I do the fire strike. Left click, and there's just a basic attack. But I also have this flashbang, number two, 
I'll show it to you next. Maybe I'll go up this way. I'll do a flashbang. Sometimes it confuses them. See there, okay, they see the one is confused. He's hanging back. He's still confused. Let's flashbang him. There, he's confused. You can, there is a weapon switch key. But it doesn't, maybe I'm not uh, high enough level. I'm not sure why I can't have two weapon sets. Okay, I killed the Aether Crystal. Now, this game has this yellow highlight. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's my... I think my constitution for health regen. You don't regen... You do regen health out of combat, but... You don't just do it forever. Once your constitution is drained, you need to consume um, something food you need to eat food or something like that but this is a tonic of mending seals wounds and mends broken bones restores 50% of life right click to consume while holding right click okay blah blah let's check the map see there is something a burial hill entrance I know it's up that way but I want to ex explore the whole game I'm confusing him. <laughs> You'd think something that was a floating eyeball would be more susceptible to a flashbang, right? The old dump. Burial Hill. Why can't I pick that up? Hmm. That was quite a f little f fight. can miss. The targeting is done by the computer. It does confuse them. I don't even remember Diablo 3 having that. I'm surprised I can't confuse myself or something. So this is still an early access, by the way, what we have here. Elixir speed, quilted circlet. Uh, I had pizza earlier. <laughs> the whole pizza. Alright, what do we have here? A cap. I'm not, I don't have enough physique. Maybe I'll bump my physique. Here, now I can wear this quilted coat of the fox. <laughs> not giving me sometimes to uh, bump your stats according to l gear, because you always get better gear later. But I don't know the game that well. Here we are, Mutagenic Icker. Use um, all weapons, shields, and off hands. 10 poison damage over 5 seconds. Requires le player level 7. Mutagenic Icker. Some of this stuff I don't want. This is a, for my head, I guess I get a boost for energy regen, but I, the other helm I've got, I boosted 24 armor. Just getting rid of stuff here. Very early in the game here. Duh.
can auto sort. Where's the auto sort? There it is. Oh yeah, I've got a scrap metal musket. Very slow. I guess it's just the scrap metal stuff isn't very good. At least it's stuff you can see, and unlike an M MMO, you drop stuff. It's usually it's gone then. Salvaged foot pads. I finally got something for my feet. Wait a minute, where'd it go? Padded boots. Oh, it just wore them, that's what it was. Okay, automatically put them on. Uh -uh. And stay back. See, I health regen, but I lose some constitution. I have three unused skill points. I can I bump two into flashbang, three into fire strike. And two or three into uh okay, next level five, I will get more physique, okay, I just got now i now I unlocked these this new tier here, the second tier of skills blast shield, a combination of military equipment and sorcery creates a shield capable of absorbing fixed amount of pierce and fire damage before collapsing, huh. And a black water cocktail firebomb. Tightly good use against mobs. Which the flashbang is good for. Or I can opt to uh go to the next level. I guess round or or passives or something. Yeah, or something. Boosting anyway. I'm gonna do that. I think two into Blackwater Cocktail. Put it into uh, one here. And then, uh. No, I didn't get anything for. And all the resistances look like fire, cold, lightning, poison acid, piercing, chaos, stun, aether, vitality, and bleeding. Pretty all, it's quite a few, ten different uh, damage types or whatever, besides physical, I guess they don't add physical in here. Piercing. That's from the rogu roguelikes started that kind of thing. Burial Hill entrance is back that way. Let's go over here. We're just playing with them, really. Looking for loot in all the wrong places. How's that song go? There we are, there's the cave entrance, Burial Hill. This is probably where I need to go, it has a star on the map. Lower crossing rift. There's two burial hill entrances. I think this is the exit. I don't know which one was which. Do I have any more mana? I'm just playing. I'm really goofing off, but I could die, I guess. I'm gonna throw it back. Fight fire with fire, bitch. Yeah. 
I guess I have lost some health here. Okay, I just restored some. Here, take that. I guess they're fire resistant or something, is what it is. This is like I'm doing the du dungeon in reverse or something. So it's like the hardest mob or something in in the area. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, what did I get? Cracked lodestone for lightning damage. Aether crystal. Used with the creation of arcane items. I have some splintered clubs here. Same identical item. Here we are. This one has more armor. I'll use that. But this one is another... Loot. What do we have? Yeah, that's the exit. See, it's, I think it's... I don't know if I'm in the entrance or the exit. Because there's two entrances. It has the star here, so I guess I'm in the right one. Burning dead. Yeah, he's fire. He's got to be firing resistance. Now he shouldn't be. Yes, miss. It's really for mobs, but I don't care. some loot here. <laughs> Crafting item. Padded boots, any good? I Same as what I've got. Scrap metal hand wonder boss. It does have a uh, whoa. Maybe he's fire resistant. He looks more like a poison resistance kind of creature though, doesn't he? And I think I saw him on fire there. There, I got one. Polished emerald. Tarnished carver. Well, that's a good melee. Some scrap. My constitution is low. If I do this, that doesn't boost my cost. No, it doesn't. Hide cap. It's better than the one I've got.
Burn, baby. Oh, this is cool graphics. Wait, why does he even try to shoot through the wall like that? At least he doesn't try to pathfind all the way around or something. Here's the map. It's a little small. This goes that way. A little dark. It'd be cool if they made this game work with the light a little better rather than just... There's no light source system at all. Except you glow. Oh. You can't burn loot on the ground either. Salvage foot pads. No, it was just here earlier? Yeah. I guess it was a regen. Maybe that was it. Well, I guess I have to go down and shoot this. Crystal. Oh, okay, I'm in the wrong area. Let's go around. Okay, that's it. Okay, that is a little... F okay, he's dead. Okay. Scrap metal. Glad I don't know if it's, I should pick that up or what. Grim Dawn. Feels like a DirectX 9 game. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I think they started making this before... DirectX 10 was even out. Okay. Exit and exit. There's an exit here. This is a different exit. There's no loot there. This is the other entrance. It's a small dungeon. Okay. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Boom. At least the explosion sound isn't annoying. You have to hear these sounds oh, so many times. Chilled steel. Let's check the map. Oop, I hear some kind of gravestone opening. You can hack these gravestones. There. You can see them. We're gonna have some fun with fire. I used to love playing with fire as a kid. <laughs> okay, <it was> dangerous. <laughs> Confessions of the game. What is that sound I hear over here? I have sound on 7.1 or 5.1. I hope the NVIDIA capture software downsamples it to 2. Shooting gravestones. The po 
poisonous smoke. Should probably do this area after going back to town, go to the rift. Here's the big world map. It's pretty huge. I think this is just one third of the game. I don't know for sure. I really don't know. I know Titan Quest was huge. Kept going on and on. Forever. Did I go into here? Nope. Green moves I try to keep up. <laughs> no loot in those stones. <laughs> it does burn the stones down. All right, rift gates. Secured rift gates allow you to traverse quickly between various locations. In Cairn, I think that's what it said. Left click on the rift gate to open the map. You discover lower crossing rift gate. The locations of rift gates you discover will be avail available for you to use. You're capable of opening rift personal rift gates to activate your personal one. Click on the rift travel button in the HUD. Shortcut key L. Self-explanatory, really. Okay, the dead, the dead attacks have slowed and their numbers are thinning. I th take that as a sign you've dealt with the source. I've killed the reanimator. A creature was doing this disturbing. Thanks to your efforts, we may yet hold out here a little longer. I sent word to the gate guard. Speak to him and he should let you in. Take some well-deserved time to rest and recover. Welcome to Devil's Crossing. Thank you. Okay, I got 300 iron and 500 Devil's Crossing refutation. I need some time to plan our strategy. In the meantime, there are others around Devil's Crossing who could use your help. Take a moment to mingle with your fellow survivors mingling. It's a social game. Kasparov, our resident scientist, is really eager to speak with you. He's babbled some nonsense, but I believe he wants to talk about your connection with the ethereals. Barnabas, our handyman, said he needed help with our water pump. When you're done assisting them, speak with me in my office inside the prison. I will speak to them. There it is. I think I'll resume recording later. I'm, on, I'm a little tired. I think I want to play something else, but this game's awesome. And it's going to get better, I think. This game is... I don't know. I just... I, I like it. It's just like... It's action-y, right? It's not uh, trying to be... Too much choices and consequences or whatever. Deep dialogue trees. Beautiful graphics. Very cool game. Thanks for watching. This is Game Dot Gamer. Please like, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for subscribing. Bye bye.